a summary of confidence intervals. Let's start with the uh, formula for confidence intervals. So we're trying to estimate the population mean and to do so you need to take a random sample from uh, your population and then you work out the sample mean. Now that sample mean could be a value that's already given to you in the question. So it could be that the uh, sample size was very large and they just gave you the sample mean. It could be that they gave you the sigma x value and then you need to divide that by your sample size n to work out the sample mean. It could be that they've given you a list of data values and you need to add them up and then divide uh, by your sample size to work out what the sample mean is. Or you could be given a frequency table in which case you need to turn on the frequencies in your calculator, enter the data and then get the sample mean from your calculator. The sample size n is either given or if you have data like this just count the data values you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so in this case n is equal to 6. The z value here comes directly from uh, the normal tables so look for the tables where you have the probabilities on the outside and z values on the inside so that's table 4 that you're specifically after the uh, standard deviation is typically given to you in the question so look out for the uh, standard deviation um, if it's not given to you you can work it out using this formula yeah this formula is on page 12 of the AQA formula book uh, remember to divide by n minus 1 in the formula and what you're working out here is the sample standard deviation and for S1 it's typically a very large sample that you're working with in which case the population standard deviation and the sample standard deviation are very similar so you work out the sample standard deviation from this formula and use that value right here in the formula okay make sure you remember all of this um, the exam questions come in different flavors depending on which paper you're looking at you're looking at different aspects of uh, this summary here.